Welcome back to this tiny space in our room that I'm turning into a nursery. I've been anticipating this day since the moment I saw those two pink lines. My first baby, we got the cheapest glider recliner we could find, and it was like a punishment to sit I in. I want to donate it to chiropractor school. This go around, we really realize the importance of your nursery also, chair. Also, we put this rug down first. I don't think we're going to keep it there because the pattern, it just doesn't go with the wallpaper. I asked so many people about their nursery chair, what they loved about it, and did so much research online. And at the end of the day, I wanted something that felt like one of those uggo recliners. But I'm just not willing to sacrifice the aesthetic. So this is the Crawford Pillowback Chair and a Half from Namesake. It's actually not a recliner it's a swivel glider i realized a chair would have to live about two feet forward in order to even have space to recline so i was just hoping 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 that this was going to be comfortable it's such a gamble when you get a chair you've never sat in before so i was nervous but i'm here to tell you it was love at first sight the combo of the lumbar pillow with the height that the back is at and the fact that it's so soft when you tilt your head back it almost feels like you're in a recliner by far the best part is that i'll be able to cuddle both of my kids in this chair it is so big and squishy and it really doesn't scream nursery so it'll be a fabulous reading chair wherever we put it in years to come.